So uh, after so many days of Bandung, now uh, this is your very <laughs> decent food for so many days. So before dinner, um, I would like I would like to um, um, ask our vice minister to give you a very short speech. Okay, let's welcome <laughs> the vice minister again. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is uh, indeed my great pleasure uh, to represent uh, Minister Zhang Fumei uh, to host a, a dinner party here. And I'm very, very happy uh, to see so many uh, second generation Taiwanese American uh, come to join us uh, today. And we are going to witness a great event uh, in in how many days? In three days later. <laughs> yes. uh, I, I think uh, it, uh, it, it, this event will be uh, remembered uh, in whole your life. And, uh, and as a, a political scientist myself, many people already ask me, and I think you are going to ask me too, uh, about uh, uh, who do you think you, uh, will win this election? And I'll say to you, uh, it's too close to call. Mm. But this election, uh, in my opinion, is a, a very, very uh, important uh, election. This election is a test uh, whether the nation like Taiwan can deepen in and consolidate uh, its democracy or not. I think this is a, a very, very uh, important uh, election. And many uh, foreign observers, and including the foreign scholar, uh, say to me, uh, I remember uh, about uh, two months ago, I visited uh, uh, Australia. The former ambassador, uh, Australia and ambassador to Taiwan, he told me he prayed to God every day. He said to me, Taiwanese shouldn't make any mistake whatsoever in this uh, election. If uh, this election means that the referendum is going to fail, that the uh, 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 subgroup of the uh, the uh, uh, I, I mean I mean the uh, the uh, former ruling party will come back to power. Uh, in his opinion, it's a, I don't say it, it's, a, it's a tragedy, but I would say, it, he said, perhaps this uh, democracy is in a great uh, crisis. Uh, let me say to you, uh, uh, in this moment, I think, Three days later, Taiwanese people will make a very important uh, decision. And I think the democracy will win. And no matter how the outcome of the election, I think democracy will win. We, we are not going back to the authoritarian regime whatsoever. And especially after the first ever referendum, when Taiwanese become their, I mean, when Taiwanese become the true master of the Taiwan, and we will reach the point of no return. And so I think the, uh, the comment from the former Australia ambassador to Taiwan is a little bit uh, too pessimistic. I think no matter how the outcome is, Taiwanese democracy will progress. And this trip, 
I think it's very uh, important trip to you. It's not only a, 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 a new a sensational experience and also a very good uh, uh, educational uh, tour uh, for you, I believe. And I hope uh, you will enjoy every day of this tour. And let me here to propose a, a toast <laughs> you know, uh, to the uh, success of our presidential election and uh, the ever progress of Taiwanese democracy. Let me have a toast to you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, under your seat, you will see a package of the uh, souvenir like <laughs> from my department, our department. Um, there will be some um, video and uh, some um, short introduction of my department and the, uh, especially there's a book, it's an old picture when the President Chen visited New York. And uh, Victoria, would you represent your group and um, to um, get this a little gift from our vice, mi vice minister. Short introduction of um, your group to our Vice Minister. Thank you, Vice Minister Zhuang, for your opening remarks to us. Um, I just want to, I'm sure you know, just give a little introduction of our group. Um, we have come from all over the United States, um, the majority from the New York metropolitan area and California, but also other parts Florida, Seattle, St. Louis, and um, most of us are young professionals or on our way to becoming young professionals and all of us are very interested in learning more about Taiwan and learning more about how we can support Taiwan in our own lives and in our own sphere of influence as we live out our careers in the United States. Um, I just want to take the chance to, now to thank you and your department and the government of Taiwan for allowing us to come to Taiwan during this very historic time and to have so much firsthand um, view of what is really happening in Taiwan today. Um, your department has been incredibly, incredibly gracious and helpful to all of us and we are very grateful for the opportunity to be here and I pretty much think every one of us will go home to our lives with long lasting memories and I hope that this will really make a difference in our lives and our communities back in the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, and right here um, we have uh, two other uh, senior officers and let me to introduce to you. And this is our Deputy General Director, uh, Charles Liang. This is our senior executive officer, um, James Chang. Okay, so um, let's start our dinner. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where are you going to uh, after this dinner? To, uh, Go back to the hotel and take a rest. The schedule is very tight, right? But then what time do you Oh, you have to wake up at 7.30 again. Sure. 
Taiwanese uh, Chamber of Commerce. We, we've got a uh, hundred uh, and sixty-eight uh, Taiwanese uh, Chamber of Commerce in the global, you know, around the world. So I, I have to visit them, you know, yes, country by country. So I, I spent about, uh, I would say, it, uh, four months, you know, traveling uh, within last year, four months traveling you know, to visit uh, Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce. What's your experience been this past year? It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's <laughs> very unique. What was the hardest part so far? The hardest part is... Uh, the most challenging. I think the ideological uh, aspect. You know, like, like what happened in Taiwan. Uh, this, this ideological issue, whether to... Uh, I mean, the unification versus independence. Uh, uh, this issue really split, you know, the uh, Taiwanese uh, community group. And uh, also split between the. Uh, so because we're also in charge of the uh, Chinese com community. You know, some, some people uh, from, from Taiwan still identify themselves as, a, as a Chinese. So we, we have to take care of the both sides of, of the group. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very difficult task. How does that ideology translate into the economic side? Uh, economic side, we don't, we don't have a uh, problem. But uh, other than other the than economic issue, I have to handle you know, the various groups uh, overseas. Are you just primarily coordinating between the business among the different no, 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 the business group. You know, the uh, Taiwanese business group. We, we have a lot of uh, Taiwanese businessmen abroad. Right, right. That's uh, about, about half million of them. I'm just, I'm sorry, I've just been studying um, the Ministry of Japan's, I, I'm guessing, MITI, um, which I'm guessing is the equivalent of what this commerce, Chamber of Commerce is. Yeah, the Ministry of Economic Trade and Industry. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's different. In, 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 in Japan, they, uh, I, I think they don't have an uh, overseas department you know, to in charge of so-called so Japanese. And here we have, uh, you know, uh, overseas Taiwanese commission, uh, our department, to in charge of all, you know, the overseas Taiwanese and Chinese. <laughs> And yeah. Japan, they don't have the same sort of organization. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you think Taiwan is special to me that this kind of organization? Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Sui Ni Xin said, uh, overseas Chinese is the mother of the revolution. And President Chen Sui Ping says, overseas Taiwanese is the father of the democracy. So, uh, you can see the the, uh, the funding of, of the uh, Republic of China, all the uh, the progress of uh, Taiwanese uh, democracy, has really depend on you know overseas Chinese and Taiwanese. And so this uh, this uh, this uh, I mean department you know has 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 its historical meaning, and we pay a lot of emphasis on, on overseas uh, uh, compatriot. We, we consider them you know, uh, a, a great asset to uh, to our nation in terms of uh, uh, 30 years ago I would say you know uh, they, they did a lot of help economically and nowadays I would say you know overseas Taiwanese did a lot of help uh, in terms of uh, democratic uh, progress so we, without without overseas Taiwanese, I think this uh, DPP uh, will be uh, will be possible. And the, uh, it was kind of weird. <laughs> Kevin? No, it's just Fred. Well, it's not a roll. It's here. It's like alcohol, and I'm like, oh, Fred. I know. I'm like, oh, you're drunk.
Yeah. Yeah. I wear flip flops. I'd be in a suit yeah. and like in flip flops. It's like a noodle place. <laughs> 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 I'm still wearing shoes. Hey, look. Yeah, I live in Planning on growing your hair out? I had it like long and like cut it off. What? No, it's like really after. Get downtown. Are you leaving? She likes everything. This guy doesn't know what to do. Okay, you have to promise to drink with me. Win or lose? No. Lose, then we have to do the. Lose, it's like crying in your beer, you yeah. know? Damn, that's like sad. Yeah. So we still have to drink together. <laughs> we have to be there for each other. You know? <laughs> It'd be like 37 people all like. <laughs> <laughs> Just like be there for the good times. You gotta be there to the good and the bad. Okay, okay, that's true. Hey, that's true. Where are you going? It's gonna be like emotional binge drinking. What? I seriously, I do not want to do this right now. Okay, no, I don't usually go clubbing. This is Enoch's department, social activities, his department. I know how to go to a club. Hey Victoria, who's that hot girl over there? She's your new girlfriend. Taiwan needs you. Yes, Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. Need the gong tou piao. Gong tou, gong tou. He's not gonna stop. <laughs> I don't go to clubs very much, and the clubs I go to in San Francisco. They don't really pick up on girls there because you have to be like six feet tall and 90 pounds or you have to be gay. Yeah. One or the other. All right, let's go. It's so wide enough so that people can enter at the same time. We. We is. Lan Shi. You heard? Lan Shi. Ego. Party. How about that for some Thai English? We're going to the club. I don't know what it's called. It's Luxie. blue. Luxie. Luxie. No, that's good. That sounds kind of. That sounds kind of. On multiple flights, they have like this whole book and they yeah. staple it, right? So like, ticket was like like Seattle. Like, yeah. Inside. It's no, you're so nice. No, no, no. Just like here. Oh, no, we're, we're waiting for you guys. Oh, why? Where are you waiting? I don't know. We're just waiting for you guys. Why don't you uh, film this? Hey, you guys? Let me, let me have you guys all come over here real quick. Where's your place? Um, the, we have a variety of stuff, I mean, like,